Hi, patrons. So I'm trying something brand new here. I've never done anything um, figurative before. I always do abstract because I like not having that direct thing. But I was talking to people about umbrellas and crows and ravens and thought I was going to do one. So I'm doing this and I like the way my black and everything is turning out. I don't know about my, my coppered sky, but the top of the top of her head kind of blends into the background. Um, so I'm gonna try this as we speak. We're gonna do it together. And basically I'm gonna paint over paint over the head, but hopefully actually I need to do this. I'm gonna use a little water here. Hopefully I can do it lightly enough. where I can still see through to what's behind. And then I'm going to grab this, my regular brush, and I'm going to, there's our um, black on this, so I'm gonna mellow out that copper color that I have going. Try to get it. Yeah, you can see you can see my canvas is going. I'm actually I've never had a real easel. I'm actually using a um, I think it's an easel that was made for like workplace presentations, which is probably a bad idea to do any painting on, let alone a, a four by five painting like this one. Um, but that's just the way it goes. And then I'm kind of painting out the head, but I can still see enough of her head to where what I'll do is, when, when it dries, is I'll go over and I can still see the shape of the head so I can still go over the head and hopefully it'll give it, it'll pop a little bit. But that's about, that's, that, that's about what I wanted to do. Um, maybe we'll do a second one and see what this looks like when it dries and what I can do with it. Anyway. As always, thank you very much for being my patrons, all 12 of you. Um, this will be vid random video number seven, and um, I think maybe eight. I'll, I'll do an, uh, another two of them together so you can kind of see what it's, what it's gonna look like so you don't have to wait weeks to see what I end up doing with her. I'm excited to see what I do with her too. Okay, this is more than long enough. Thank you again, bye. Hello patrons, this is um, random video take two, sort of. Um, I was talking last time about, I was gonna lighten it up behind the head, and when I added some color to the copper sky and everything that I have, and the copper actually comes through here, when I added it and made it lighter, it actually turned more of a gold, which kind of made it stick out more. And I decided what has happened is, my, 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 my poor crow is just in the wrong place. So what I've decided I'm going to do is totally take out my crow. I'm actually going to take out, she's sitting on an entire log. I, I forgot what the framing is. But she's sitting on an entire log that goes across the whole five foot canvas. So I'm going to take out the log. I'm going to take out, I'm going to take her out. And the, the black from here should fade more into a lighter color. So I'm going to kind of shift the entire focal point of the painting down more towards the center where the, 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 the copper sunset of the water would normally be anyway. So anyway, that's take two. I might put this all in the one big video and let you watch me debating this. This is very behind the scenes stuff. Thank you for being my patron and uh, stay tuned for part three of this video. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Crow, Miss Crow. Goodbye, Log. Hello, patrons. This video is turning into like a Bob Ross 30 minute PBS special without the talent, of course. Um, I probably look dreadful. I was, it's the end of December and I was just outside pressure washing because it's 55 degrees. Anyway, that has nothing to do with why I'm, I've called you all here. I'm going to show you the painting to where it is right now and then we'll go on from there. This is where the uh, crow was. And as you can see, I've, I've moved her, him, 
and I've added some rocks and I have actually worked a little bit on um, a few other things. The, the branch, uh, there's no detail on the branch. There's no detail on anything yet, but I kind of, this thing's been going on for so long and this is the weekend of the patron. I sent out some thank you cards and I wanted to show you what's going on with this piece. So, so that's it. And uh, one last time, thank you so much for being my patrons. I appreciate it uh, more than you know. Thank you.